In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called solving a quadratic equation using the square root property. Exact answers advanced. Knowing that here we're to use the square root property, our equation we're solving x minus 2 squared minus 28 equals 0. To solve using the square root property, I see that I have a term being squared. I would want to isolate that. And I can do so here by adding the 28 to the other side of the equation. Canceling it on the left would leave us just the x minus 2 quantity squared. And on the right hand side, now a positive 28. And at this stage, we can apply the square root property by taking the square root of each side of the equation. And the reason I'm doing so is because on the left hand side, the square root and the square will cancel and I will be left with either the positive or the negative of x minus 2 equaling the square root of 28. To simplify the square root of 28 I should ask myself if I can write it as a perfect square being multiplied and 28 is 4 times 7. So the 4 being a perfect square I can take the square root of 4 which brings it outside the square root as a 2. And we now have positive or negative x minus 2 equals 2 square roots of 7. And since we're solving for x, we would want to first recognize that the positive or negative on the left-hand side can be removed and applied to the right-hand side. And if it's helpful here, we could have split this into two problems, one with the positive and one with the negative. And since we no longer need the parentheses, I can see that solving would just be adding the 2 to the other side of the equation, canceling on the left. I would have x equals the 2 that I just added over, plus or minus 2 square roots of 7. And here we can see that we have two solutions. One solution is x equals 2 plus 2 square roots of 7. The other solution is 2 minus 2 square roots of 7.